15 most bizarre musical instruments. Number 15. Yebahar, Turkish musician Gorkum Sen created this unusual instrument. The Yebahar is made of fretted strings, coiled springs, and drum skins. Sen plays his Yebahar with either a bow or a wrapped mallet. Over years of practice, Sen has been able to produce some breathtaking sounds from the instrument, which is large enough to take up an entire room. He manipulates the device either by running a bow down the string or banging his mallet on the drum skins. It produces a wide variety of crazy sounds. Number 14, Octobass. This humongous instrument isn't very mobile as it's twice the size of your standard cello. Its tone is also twice as deep with its lowest string tuned a full octave below the lowest C on a piano. Jean-Baptiste Foulam, a renowned French luthier and inventor of over 3,000 musical instruments, came up with the octobass in the mid-1800s. German luthier Wolfgang Stab recently created an octobass for experimental musician Guru Mo. Apparently, this is only the seventh octobass known to exist in the world. This particular version stands over 12 feet tall and is made with custom strings from the guts of roughly 200 Cheap. Number 13, the Great Stalactite Organ. Since the Luray Caverns were discovered in the 1870s, people knew of its desirable attributes for creating musical tones within its depths. The caves contain stalactites, or icicle like structures that people can produce incredible sounds through simply by banging on them. In the 1950s, Leland W. Sprinkle came up with the idea to build an organ inside of the caverns. After testing over 3,000 stalactites, he found 37 to use and shaved them down to give them just the right pitch. He connected them to the organ and became the organist at Luray for years afterward. The organ is, technically, the world's largest natural musical instrument. Number 12, Hydrolophone. These acoustic musical instruments are played by direct physical contact with water and produce sound hydraulically. This water flute hydrolophone has 45 finger holes and is played a lot like a piano. Except, instead of pressing on keys, you're covering holes to produce sound. Canadian inventor and researcher Steve Mann came up with the hydrolophone in the 1980s and gave it its name. Hydrolophones have also been used as sensory exploration devices for the visually impaired. Number 11, Rheumatone. Performers can utilize this instrument to create a stunning performance that combines the audio and the visual. The Rheumatone is a large sit and spin sculpture that produces chime-like sounds when the performer strikes it with the Super Bowl mallet. Its center is a metal platform that can fit two dancers. As it spins, the Rheumatone's upright metal tubes slowly open outward, much like a flower's petals. Number 10, Sansa. Made of a wooden board with attached, staggered metal tines, this African instrument is played by holding it and plucking the tines with the thumbs. There are a wide variety of sansas, and they have several different names like the thumb piano or the karimba. Thomas Mapfumo popularized the instrument when he recorded and played it in performances around the world. Number 9. Lear Guitar Tuned like a modern guitar with a fretboard located between two curved arms, the Lear Guitar enjoyed great success and popularity as a salon instrument in Paris from the late 18th century to the early 19th century. High society became immersed with the instrument and Marie Antoinette famously played one. Renowned guitarists from the period like Ferdinando Carulli and Mauro Giuliani wrote music and came up with various methods for the instrument. As the piano improved over the years, it gradually supplanted the lyre guitar in salons and its sounds are rarely heard or recorded today. You can find lyre guitars in museums and private collections, or you can have a luthier make one for you. Number 8. Theremin It's no surprise that this instrument isn't used too much today, as it's one of the world's first known electronic musical devices. Russian inventor Leon Theremin patented the device in 1928 and the Radio Corporation of America sold it throughout the 1930s. RCA built it as sounding like an opera star, and so easy anyone can do it when they first started selling the theremin. Like many slogans and advertisements, this didn't tell the whole story. Inexperienced players could do nothing but create atonal sounds. If you were a master, however, you can manipulate the theremin to create beautiful or haunting music. Number 7. Laser Harp Popularized by renowned French composer and electronic music pioneer Jean-Michel Jarre, who uses the laser harp in almost every concert he performs, this new age device is a user interface that projects laser beams. The musician plays the laser harp by blocking the laser beams, creating sounds reminiscent of a harp. Playing the sounds involves connecting the laser harp to a synthesizer or a sampler. Number 6. Utterbot Developed by Jacob Barton around a decade ago, this instrument consists of a bladder of some kind 
usually a rubber glove, full of water and a glass bottle with the bottom cut off for a mouthpiece. Artists play the utterbot by blowing across the top of the bottle and vary the pitch by squeezing the bladder, which causes the water level to rise or fall. Number five, Yuzi's comb. Amateur inventor and hair lover Han Yuzi is pictured here holding up his multitasking comb. While you can groom your hair with this object, it also doubles as a small musical instrument. Minuscule, it only measures five inches across and weighs just 68 grams. Number four, Nikol Harpa. Appearing in Swedish and Danish churches since the 14th century, this traditional Swedish string instrument saw a resurgence in popularity in the 1970s when notable European artists used the Nikol Harpa in their music. The keys of the Nikol Harpa are connected to tangents which serve as frets to change the pitch of the string. The instrument is so synonymous with Sweden that its image and tonal range are featured on the back of the 50 kroner banknote. The device is prominent in several Swedish and Finnish folk music groups like like Dram and Hyperborea. Number three, Chapman Stick. American jazz musician Emmett Chapman came out with a solo album called Parallel Galaxy in 1985. A version of one of its tracks, Backyard, was featured in the 1984 film Dune. Quite an accomplishment, but it's not how history best remembers Chapman. In the 1970s, he released the Chapman Stick, an electric stringed instrument that has 10 to 12 individually tuned strings. Chapman sought and received 14 patents in relation to his device and toured extensively to promote both the stick and his music. Today, Chapman lives and performs occasionally in Los Angeles and heads Stick Enterprises, the company that produces Chapman sticks. Number two, Serpent. This distant ancestor of the modern tuba is a bass wind instrument that has a mouthpiece and side holes like a woodwind. The device is crafted from walnut or other types of wood. While its origins are unclear, people claim that it was invented in the late 1500s in France. What is clear is that the instrument began appearing in military bands and orchestras in the mid 18th century. Famous and influential composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart used two serpents in his 1771 opera, Ascanio and Alba. In modern times, the instrument made a comeback in the 1970s when Christopher Monk began making and playing the instrument. Jerry Goldsmith took advantage of the serpent's sound in his score for the movie Alien. Number one, Earth Harp. This unique musical installation turns any natural or architectural space into a stringed instrument. William Close invented Earth Harp sometime around the turn of the millennium. Strings go from its chambers and can be attached to anything. Initially, he mounted a series of chambers to one side of a valley and ran the strings 1,000 feet to the other side, creating the longest string instrument in the world. He also brought the device to the Kennedy Center where he tied the strings to the building itself. Close has also brought Earth Harp to mountain peaks, skyscrapers, the Colosseum in Rome, and the Arch of Constantine. <laughs>